I hear you, Stone. I... Even if it's only in my head, I know that you wouldn't want me to be this way. Especially now. I just... I don't know if, if I'm as strong as you were. I don't know if I can do this. We had Thanksgiving dinner today and I asked Maxie to bring one thing, flowers. And she brought <laughs> the biggest arrangement. I mean, you should have seen this thing, it was so huge. I, we had to put it in the kitchen because it was actually too big for the table. <laughs> but um, it was really sweet. I needed flowers today. You know, yeah, I needed my family. I don't know who rebuilt this bridge. <laughs> they tore our bridge down. They said it was a fire hazard or something. And then a little over a year ago, there was an anonymous donor who um, gave them the money to rebuild this bridge in the exact same spot. And... I am pretty sure it was Jason or Sonny. If Sonny built it, it was for you. And if Jason built it, it was for me. But, um, either way. So anyway, the flowers, um, I remember just like it was yesterday, scattering your ashes in the water. And I don't know, I just thought that maybe Maybe I could um, scatter the rose petals and watch them float away and think of them floating towards you. I don't know. I just thought it would be something that you would like. Something that would have made you smile. <laughs> Brenda and Sunny got married, but you probably know that you're probably watching. Unfortunately, they didn't make it. But it's a shame, you know, but sometimes, sometimes love just isn't enough. Hey, sweetheart. Hey. Hey. What are you doing here? I drove by the house and I saw the lights on. Patrick told me where you were headed. He also told me he wanted to be alone. But I knew you wouldn't be alone. Not today. No, I'm not alone. Um, you know, I just consider me back up, okay? I'll go wait by the car. Wait, 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 hold on. Don't leave. Help me honor Stone and uh, all of those people that were so special lost their lives too soon. Can you help me do that? <laughs> I would walk through fire for you. <laughs> Thank you. Can you uh, answer a question for me? Look, I, I, losing Stone changed your world forever. I know I was there. But this year, his death seems to be hitting you especially hard. Any reason why? I guess I'm just overwhelmed, you know, with my new job and everything that happened with Lisa. Yeah, I, I thought she had something to do with this. It's just all so senseless, you know? It's like this black cloud that is hanging over all of us and then I think about Stone and he carried this this bright light with him and I I just don't understand why things are going to end up this way you know if Stone's death taught me anything it's that life isn't fair you mean because I contracted the virus no I made my peace with that a long time ago it's just the disease itself, you know, I, I can't get a handle on it. 
It's a tough one. I just want to make it better for you. You do. You make it better every day just by being my family and loving me and supporting me no matter what stupid mistakes I make. What are you talking about? I should be cherishing every single moment of my life, you know? I've just been so distracted lately. Yeah, well, Lisa didn't make it easy. But I used to be a fighter, you know, and I let her win. I let her destroy my life, destroy my marriage. Robin, hey, nothing is destroyed. Come on, you're still here, so is Patrick. <sighs> Uncle Mac, you have no idea. And maybe I shouldn't, Robin. Look, I tried really hard, you know, to leave my badge at the door, being an uncle and a father during Thanksgiving. It's hard sometimes. We understand. It's just you doing your job. Yeah, but it should be second. You know, my first priority should be my girls. I think about this, the mess. You and Max are in a murder investigated. I'm solely defending myself. What did you say? It was self-defense. Robin, be extremely careful what you say to me. I just meant after everything that Lisa has done, not just to me and Patrick, but to Maxie and Spinelli and Steve and Elizabeth. I mean, God knows who else. Whoever killed her was doing it in self-defense, okay? Even if it was after the fact. That's not the definition of self-defense. Who cares about a stupid definition? You know Lisa was this horrible, evil person. Look, I agree, but we both know that's not how the law works. Well, not everything works the way it should. Otherwise, Stone would still be here, and Lisa, no one would give a damn where she was or how she got there. Lisa died at the hands of someone else, okay? That cannot be ignored. But it should. It can. Tell me you know that it should. Please. I agree. I agree, but at the end of the day, somebody has to pay the price. I don't want anyone on that boat to be the one who killed Lisa. Well, then maybe you should be looking at people who weren't on the boat. I would, but they weren't the ones... Look, I'm sorry, okay? Um, this is not the time or the place. Today's hard enough as it is. I know. I mean, you want justice. You want the truth. I don't blame you. I mean, who do you think I got that from? I hope I taught you other things than that, you know, like how to take it easy on yourself. Oh. I didn't. Really? Come on. I mean, look at you. I mean, you're still pulling double and triple shifts all the time. Wait a minute. Still? Is that your way of saying I'm old? No, it's... <laughs> no, it's my way of saying that you'll do anything to fight for what you believe in, for what you know is right. Most importantly, I'll fight for you. You need more than that, Uncle Mac. Okay. So I'm not old. I just need to get a life. <laughs> it would be nice. It would be nice to see that before I die. Robin? All the days that we knew you and we got to spend with you and for all the days that we didn't it's getting cold I can use a cup of coffee ready to go I see.